the Frieza saga, the Cell saga, the Majin Buu saga. Over the course of Dragon Ball's long history, we've gotten many, many incredible stories. But within those stories, we've also gotten a long list of mysteries, things that Toriyama never properly explained. Well, today I want to tell you about what I think is the biggest mystery in the entire Dragon Ball franchise, and it involves a pair of panties. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about panties. Now, look, I know that some of you probably already know where I'm going with this, but stick around till the end because I think I'm going to bring up a couple interesting things that maybe you haven't thought about, and it's going to be a fun journey to get to the end of the video. So don't go anywhere. And for those of you that don't know, well, I'm about to fill you in. So at the end of the Pilaf saga, the first story that happens in the Dragon Ball franchise, there's a very important moment that takes place. So basically, Pilaf has gathered the seven Dragon Balls. He's about to wish for world domination. And then Ulan saves the day by wishing for... The world's most comfortable <laughs> pair of ultra soft... <laughs> <laughs> No, that is the dub. He did not wish for the most comfortable pair of underwear. That is completely wrong. What Ulan wished for was much more perverted. <laughs> he wished for a pair of girls' panties. Get in a panty, oh, this line, get in a panty, oh, kure. give me a pair of girls' panties. Don't clip that, by the way. <laughs> is easily one of the most famous in the entire Dragon Ball franchise. And you may be thinking, no, it's not. It's not that famous. I remember it, but it's not such a big deal. Well, it is. I would agree with you that it's not that famous in the English-speaking world, but in Japan, this is an absolutely iconic line. It continues to be brought up in comedy videos. So if you look it up on YouTube, like I did when I was doing the research for this video, you'll find comedy skits that still make reference to this line. Also, in 2021, we got an incredibly popular song that actually directly quotes the line. This song is called Bluma to Lunch, and it's by the Japanese hip-hop group called Bloom Vase. This song absolutely blew up in 2021. It was all over the place on TikTok. Of course, you got a bunch of videos that people made, you know, dancing to this song. And there's a lot of cute girls dancing to this song. So if you're into that sort of thing, look it up. <laughs> you may enjoy that. But it just goes to show you how much of a social, cultural impact this line continues to have in Japan. I would say this is a bit of an exaggeration, but it's almost in the ballpark of Luke, I'm your father. Now, not everybody is going to know this line, but a lot of people know this line because you have the old school Dragon Ball fans. You have the next generation that came about when Super and, of course, Dragon Ball Kai came out. Uh, and so that revived the franchise and we got the whole Dragon Ball Renaissance. But now you have this other generation uh, in their teens and maybe under that know this line from the song Bloom at the Lunch. So this line just won't die. People love this line line. So I, I think that you should be aware of it if you're a Dragon Ball fan because it's a big deal. Dai-chan, Dai-chan! Get in the panty, Okura! Oh, and also it's a plot point in Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> But what about that mystery that I alluded to at the beginning of the video? How are these panties the biggest mystery in the entire Dragon Ball franchise? Well, it all comes down to what Ulan says and how Shenlan could have interpreted it. So, first of all, let's break down what Ulan says. He says, Gyaru no panty o kure. That just means give me a pair of girls' panties. Gyaru no panty, girls' panties, and then o kure, give me. Okay, so that's it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. But you can translate this a bunch of different ways, which means you can also interpret it a bunch of different ways. It could be interpreted as just give me a generic pair of girls' panties. What I mean by that is just a new pair of panties. Or you could also interpret it to mean give me a pair of panties that belongs 
to a girl. So this means that these panties could have been completely created by Shenlon out of nothing. Or he could have teleported them from a department store, or he could have teleported them off of the body of a young woman who just happened to be walking around some city in the world of Dragon Ball, and then all of a sudden her panties are gone. Or he could have teleported them from her underwear drawer, or from her dirty laundry basket, <laughs> or <laughs> he could have created a female and then just given her a pair of panties had her put them on and then taken them off of her and then given them to Ulan and then made that fictional, just completely created girl disappear and, and that was that. Or <laughs> Shenlan could have taken them from a female dragon. <laughs> Now, a lot of these things that I'm saying are actually things that Japanese people have said. I actually came across a video on YouTube that is eight minutes long, and it's a compilation of the things that Japanese people have said about where these panties could have come from. Now, this video is basically just people online just making jokes about where these panties could have come from. But nevertheless, it goes to show that people are still joking about this. People are still speculating about this. Now, there's actually a whole other aspect to the mystery here, and that is what happened to these panties after Bulma and the gang went off to the city because Ulan put them on his head, right? And he was absolutely ecstatic that he got these panties. He loved these panties. Well, what happened to them afterwards? We don't know. I can only presume that Ulan still cherishes them. They're in an underwear drawer somewhere, or maybe he has them hanging up on his wall, and he still sniffs them every once in a while. By the way, I wanted to mention what I think is the most solid theory about whose panties these are. So basically, the theory goes that they are Bulma's because she happens to be the nearest Gyaru in that area. Now, yes, Mai is there and she's also a young woman, but I think Bulma is more of a Gyaru, more of a young, energetic, cute girl. And also, she's the main protagonist there and, and it just makes sense that it would be Bulma over Mai. So Shenlan looks around, he sees a Gyaru, it happens to be Bulma, so he teleports those panties that she's wearing off of her body and gives them to Ulan. Now, you may be thinking, surely Bulma would have noticed if suddenly her panties went missing. And my answer to you is no, no. There's no reason to think that she would have because earlier in the story when she meets Master Roshi for the first time, Master Roshi asks her to give him a peek under her skirt and she says, okay, and she does it. And it turns out that she wasn't wearing any panties and she hadn't noticed the entire day that she wasn't wearing panties. So we have precedent. We know that Bulma is not particularly sensitive about this sort of thing. <laughs> so even if she hadn't been uh, wearing panties after Ulan makes his wish and Shenlan takes them from her, she may not have noticed until the next time she pulls down her pants. <laughs> so this is totally plausible, but we don't have any confirmation that this is actually the fact. So whether you choose to believe this is totally up to you. <laughs> But here's the thing, we're never going to find out the origins of these panties. You think Toei is going to come out, oh hey, by the way, these panties, yeah, they were Bulma's. No, no, no. If Toniyama didn't tell us, we're never going to find out. So yes, I stand by my declaration. This is the biggest mystery in all of Dragon Ball. But, but I think that's a great thing. I think having a little bit of mystery here and there actually adds to the allure of Dragon Ball. So let me know, what do you think? Whose panties did these belong to? Were they Bulma's or were they someone else's? Drop me a comment. Let's grow this channel, please. I got a lot more ideas for videos, but you got to help me grow the channel, right? Drop me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Get it, no panty,